first thing I've noticed is that Hammond has lavished a lot of time and love on his sign. Look at that sign there. He's thought about that for hours. Meanwhile, this, whatever this is, is it a Rolls or a Bentley or something? It is a Bentley, I can tell by Braille. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening there. My first observation, um, it is currently January the 18th, 19th. This, which is a space heater, should be on. It is completely useless off. All it does is take up valuable space that could be occupied by a car that no one's working on. Oh, there's a man over here. Look. Morning. Morning. What's this? A Morris. Morris 8. It's a Morris 8. God, my dad had one of these and I rode in the back of it when I was a kid. Nice pillar drill. Two speeds, tapping speed, very useful feature. This English wheel is a thing of great beauty. And this was expensive. That was very expensive. This was expensive and this is new. He's bought everything new. This is new. This was very expensive. Worth more than the car that's on it, I'd say. Let's have a look in these booths, because I know, I know each one of these represents a well-loved car from Richard Hammond's personal collection. I've seen the videos where he sells them, and it's to fund this. So let's have a look at what he swapped them for. Before James does any more roasting, we've put a link in the description below so you can check out more content from Richard Hammond's workshop on Discovery Plus. There's six full episodes waiting there for you to watch. Okay, back to James. Wow, this is a wonderful booth. I mean, this is really, really quality stuff. And that is, it's an Alvis. Good. I think the next one, I think the next one is the paint booth. Oh my God. Wow. Can you see in this light? I've been in one like this before. I think this is the, oh, that's better. Thank you, whoever that was. I think this is a floor extraction system. So the air comes in through the top and then goes to the floor. And I believe this might be heated as well. Not that it's on, of course, so it's chuffing freezing still. This is a fantastic, again, all, all new. I'm beginning to wonder if Hammond is one of those people who's better at spending money than making it. Oh, this is the paint store. I wonder if, is this a, like a dust-free environment or can I go in? I can go in. Look at all those colors and you can mix all those. So every color imaginable is available here, I think. Oh, this is, is this some sort of spectral analyzer for matching paint? This is fantastic equipment. Look at it all. <laughs> This is very optimistic, if you can see in here. This is, is the, uh, this is like the car restoration and repair equivalent of those charts you get in DIY stores where you can mix your own paint for your bathroom in a Mediterranean theme. Potentially, Hammond's business could paint all of these makes in all of these colors. I assume all of these can be produced from the, the base paints that are in the cupboards over there. What percentage of these will ever be made? a handful it's lovely though isn't it i mean look i suppose if his business fails he could sell this for up to 30 percent of what he paid for it there's more The question I have, I'm not, I'm not trying to diss Hammond's efforts because I think this is really admirable what he's doing, but am I looking at a very well-funded hobby or a business? Hammond's scooter. Yeah, I was with him when he bought that. It was for getting on for five years ago. He still hasn't cleaned it. Look at this. That's the air compressor. It's named after his favorite progressive rock band. That's a nice touch.
no. Let's move on from that. Well, it is, it's fabulous. It's a paradise for, for meddling and mending and doing great stuff. Well, actually, there's a bit in here. Do you want to go and look in here? We haven't looked in here yet. I presume this is the office block. That's reception, I think. Oh, hello. Is that dog allowed out? No. Dog? Oh, f sorry. Matey. Sorry, I let the dog out. Soon after. We're just going to have a look in your house. That's all right. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> sorry. Oh, warmth. Is that the kitchen? I mean, I'm not fussy. It's, you know, it's a workshop. You need a basic kitchen, but even so, it's a bit. I can make my contribution to the welfare of the workforce by turning this up. There you go. Oh, like a jammy dodger. Mm-mm. Bit soft. If you want to put the dog away again? Sorry about that. I didn't expect a dog. No, that no, was... I didn't know. <laughs> Sorry, mate. She likes me. Yeah, if she barks, you know, she loves him. Oh, okay. Dog owners always say that. Oh, he likes you. That's why he's humping your leg. Could get in a custard cream. Hmm. I knew you'd be I stole. I stole that. There's no denying it, they filmed it. Yeah. I just stole your biscuit, it was which is bad. Me. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, right, thank you. Very lucky. Thank you, that was bad form though, just taking your biscuit. <laughs> I imagine this is where Hammond can come out. I'm assuming that's his office, because that's the only bit I've not been in. He can walk out here, stand on the balcony, and address his people like a Roman emperor, or somebody from the Weimar Republic, maybe. And what do we know about the Roman Empire and the Weimar Republic? Oh yeah, they collapsed, didn't they?